Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Tutorials for Teachers. Today's resource is Edpuzzle. This is a great tool to get students to interact with recorded videos and lectures. If you want to learn about why to use this in the classroom and how to integrate it in your classroom, check the description below. But if you're interested in Edpuzzle, let's go ahead and get started in the tutorial. Welcome to Edpuzzle. This is the page that it will bring to you when you log in or sign up. This is the content. If you go over here, these are the videos that you can choose from. They have some channels that you can pick videos from and put in, into Edpuzzle and add questions through this tool. You can also go through your school if your school has some videos. There's some curriculum videos and you can view all the content. But basically this tab over here is how you choose the videos that you put into Edpuzzle if you're choosing someone else's video. If you go over here, this is how you add content from you and from your computer. If you hit create a video, it'll bring up the options from over here. If you click upload a video, you can upload it from your Google Drive or from your computer. And then a student project is where you assign students to make an ed puzzle. So let's say you want students to make a video and add some questions using Edpuzzle, and then they can submit it to this student project tab. So if we click that, it's subject, the goal of the project, and then some instructions, and then they'll have to create their own Edpuzzle video and submit it in this projects tab. Finally, you have a new folder. So this is just to organize your videos if you have quite a few of them. Before I get into how do you add the questions of Edpuzzle, I'm just gonna talk about some of the things up here. This is your profile. This is the help center, some typical stuff. This is a cool feature. If you're using Edpuzzle a lot in your classes, I would recommend doing this. You can set up your classes and you can link it with Google Classroom, but you can put in specific classes and then students can view the Edpuzzle that you assign and complete it all in that classroom. And then you can use the gradebook tab up here to grade all of them within Edpuzzle. If you're using Edpuzzle like I would personally, every few weeks or once a month or something like that, I probably wouldn't put my classes in here. I would just get the link for the Edpuzzle, send it out to the students, and then grade it in a separate um, tool. But let's go back to my content and I'll show you how to edit it and assign your videos so if you click this box you can select the video if you click on it then it'll just take you straight into the editing or viewing um, but first you can assign it so whenever you're done editing you can click assign get the link or assign it to a class in edpuzzle whichever one you decide but that's how you're going to assign the edpuzzle video edit it is just putting in more questions and adding voiceovers and cropping the video, all the editing features. And then you obviously have move to a folder, duplicate, unselect, and then delete. So let's go into editing mode. The first thing it'll bring up is the cut. You can crop your video if you'd like to make it shorter and clean up the sides. You can also add a cut. So let's say you want to cut out 15 seconds here. You can do that by adding a cut. If I click here. Add cut and then I can select and delete so this portion of the video is just going to be gone so it'll jump from here to here so if you'd like to cut out 15 seconds where you may mess up then you can do that this way next is the voiceover mine is not available because I took a video from YouTube it's my video but because it's through YouTube I can't do voiceovers but if you're uploading a video from your computer or from your Google Drive, you should be able to add voiceovers and instructions over the video. Finally, you have questions. Now this is the multiple choice question, open-ended question, and then a note. First, let's go over multiple choice and how to do it. This is where you type your question, and then you have some of the options up here. You can add files or um, images or functions, anything you want to type your an your question. And then these are the answer choices. If you'd like to add more than two, all you have to do is click add another choice answer until you get the amount you want. 
Then if you want to change which one is correct, so right now the top one is the only correct one. But if you'd like to change that, all you have to do is say which one is correct by clicking over here and then changing whichever one. So you have, if you have two correct answers, you can have two correct answers. But this is how you change whether it's correct or incorrect. When you're done, you'll hit save. I'm not going to save it right now. Next is open-ended question. This is pretty straightforward. Just type your question. Again, you have the same options for your question and typing that out. But type your question. Once they submit a response to the question, the video will keep going. Save, and I'm going to cancel. Finally, you have a note. So if you want to pause the video and explain something a little further, this is what you would use for the note. You can either type it or use the microphone to record audio. So if you'd like to just explain it um, talking or speaking, then you can use this microphone. Again, save and cancel. When you save any question, no open-ended question, it'll put it down here. So this is a question that I made earlier. It'll put it at the beginning when you save it, and then you'll just drag it to whichever spot you'd like to put it at. You might have to mess around with this to make sure that it's going exactly where you want it to go. But this is how you move it to where you want it to go. And the video will jump exactly to where you place it. And then this is the sample question over here. You can edit it and delete it and continue the video. So the great way of using Edpuzzle is allowing the students to stop the video, reflect over a portion of the video, answer a question, and then keep going through the rest of the video. I really like Edpuzzle for that feature of being able to stop halfway or a quarter of the way through, answer a question to make sure you understand what's going on before moving on. Whenever you put in all your questions, they'll all line up in order over here. And if you'd like to move this and get a little bit more space to edit it, then you can just click these arrows and move it down here. When you're done editing your video, you'll simply click finish. And then you can assign it, go back into editing, all of this. Um, if you click assign, you can either assign it to a specific class, like we talked about, or you can get a public link, which is probably what I would do. You can copy this link, send it out to students, or if you want to embed the Edpuzzle video into a website or a web page, you can get the embed link here. But you can copy both of those and then send it out to whoever you want. But that's basically it for Edpuzzle. Those are all the features and the how-tos of this great tool. And that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed this or thought it was interesting, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.